Hi guys, welcome back and today we're going to be doing the Enchantress from Suicide Squad. So today we start off by priming our skin with a moisturiser and then using the Angel Veil Primer from NYX. Making sure we've got a good base to work with. And I use a big fluffy brush to just blend that all in. Then we're going to take a foundation. Uh, mine's in light and just put that all down as a nice base to work with. Although it's mostly going to be covered so you can skip this step if you want to. Next I'm going to take a brush that I've ripped out little holes to create texture and we're going to stipple on some different browns. So here I've used a light brown and we're also going to use a dark brown. And just stipple that on around the cheekbone, around the forehead and around the chin area. Then we're going to go in with a black and just go over it to darken it up. I used my finger to blend a little bit of it out as well and this brush which is really good for creating texture as well. It doesn't have to be neat. And then we're going to go across the chest and down the arms. Next we're going to take the avant-garde NYX palette and use the brown and a big fluffy brush and we're going to start darkening up those eyes because the enchantress has some wicked bags and then go in with a black and darken up further it doesn't have to be neat all around the socket Then go in with a black face paint and just darken up all of those areas. And then smoke it all out with some more black eyeshadow. Next then we're going to take a fine brush and black and we're going to start working on her tattoos. So I was looking at a few different reference pictures and I didn't do anything in particular. This isn't exactly what is on her forehead but you just kind of wing it and hope for the best. I just did a mixture of random patterns on my forehead and on my cheeks. Then we're going to create her arm tattoos and then using a flat concealer brush to help get the shape a little bit easier. Again look at reference pictures if you need to. And because they're quite messy I smudged them out using my finger. Going back in with my brush I then went in with different green tones as she has kind of a green mouldy sort of uh, mossy effect on her. So I went over those areas with more green. Then going back in with a fine brush and a black. I then started to paint on her necklace. You can buy her necklace, um, I've seen a few online but I decided to attempt to paint mine 
it takes time but it's worth it so I just created some lines going horizontally around my neck and then the ring pendant part and then filled that in black as a base Next I did all of the vertical lines as her beaded necklace and then not forgetting her neck tattoo. Then going in with a black eyeliner we want to darken up those eyes some more. And then smoke it out into the eyebrows even more going in with a gold and a fine liner brush you start filling in the beaded detail on her necklace this also works as a really good highlight and same with the green she has a lot of mixture of colors in her necklace Then going in with a black and a brown, I started to create shadow around the necklace and around the pendant. Make sure this is all really blended out. Then going in with a highlighted teal shade and a gold, just highlight that pendant again. Now going in with my textured brush and the black, I'm going to just make it pop even more. And with my foundation brush, she has a black hand and it it had to be done so make sure you paint all of your nails and in between your fingers and if you're going out don't paint your palm this stuff gets everywhere when I was taking it off I kept on wiping black back onto my face make sure that all the excess product just gets dragged up to your arm you can then add different colors and textures as if it's just mud blending all the way up then not forgetting the lips i wanted to create a kind of cracked feel so I added foundation and then scrunched my lips together and added some black eyeshadow. Add any finishing touches and some mascara. And you're all done. I hope you liked this tutorial of the Enchantress from Suicide Squad and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye!